I have two rows down here. I've got a Purdue May 2 and I've got a Purdue Miss 2. And I want to count all the instances in both and then have a percentage of the made shots out of the total shots. So I've got a output window up here. And with your output kind of uh, buttons, you've got to make sure that they're inactive. They could be code or label buttons. It doesn't actually matter. But if you're not going to press them, might as well have them inactive. But more importantly, you've got to have show output ticked. Um, not show name, not show hotkey, but show output. So it's showing the output of the button. So going into the scripting, so we want to count the number of instances in a row. Might as well use these insert example scripts as they're actually quite useful and that's why they're there. So show account for all instances in a row. That's what we want to do. So that's what we're going to click. Uh, click. And we're going to insert what we want. So Purdue made two. Now we could just copy and paste this over and change the made with the missed, but I'll just write it out so you can kind of remember it. So show count instances where row equals quotation marks Purdue missed two so now we've got our two rows now we want to make a uh, percentage out of those two um, two rows we want to made shots out of total shots so we've got to create two variables so the uh, money sign is what you use to signify a variable and we're just going to have made you can call it whatever you want so made instead of going show count because we're not going to show anything we're just counting so count instances where row equals Purdue made two. And now we can just copy and paste this and uh, change the made into a mist. Remember, you can call it anything you want. doesn't actually matter. Change this made into a mist. So we've got our two variables now. And we want to create a total by adding them together. So money sign again. Total. We're going to add the made plus the missed. <clears throat> so now we've got our two variables and we've got a total. So now we've got to create a percentage equation out of that. Now you could do this in three rows by first dividing the made by the total, then times it by 100, and then running it all together. Or we could just all do that in one row. So that's what we're going to do. So show. We're going to put round, and we're going to see why soon. And then we're going to have three brackets. We're going to triple bracket because we want to do this all in one line. And we're going to have three different equations within that one line. So the first bracket is going to be made divided by total. That's your basic um, division equation to create a percentage. And we're going to go times 100. So it's an easy um, number. So it's a bigger number, not a decimal point number. Um, and then we're going to, so that's our second equation. So we've got two equations now. So that's for two brackets. So we've got one more bracket to go. That's what we're going to use for our rounding number. So by putting comma 1, what's that's, what that's doing is it's going to make the number just one decimal point long instead of having two or you know no um, decimal points. We're just going to have one decimal point, and that's what that round for is show round. And then that third bracket is indicating how many numbers we want it to round down to. So one decimal point. Close it off. So now we've got our number. But to make it look like a percentage number, we're going to add a percentage sign. So we're going to go plus as we're adding something to the end of it. Qu uh, quotation mark, add a percentage sign, <coughs> add another quotation mark. So now we've got our number and we've got our percentage sign. So now we've got a full um, line of scripting. Close that, press execute to see if it all works. It does work. So we've got 20 made shots and we can check if that's correct. It is. We've got 10 missed shots, we can check if that's correct, and it is. And of the total 30 total shots, so we've got 30 shots, adding them together, 20 were made, so that's two thirds, so 66.7%. So our scripting's right on, and uh, that's how you count instances using scripting in an output window.